So here we are um, on board Valette in uh, what is essentially the main restaurant. What's strikingly different from uh, the um, other uh, ships, uh, Braemar and Balmoral, and the previous ships on Fred Olsen, is that on Valette and Borealis, um, the main restaurant is actually a lovely two-tiered um, restaurant. So uh, what you'll find is downstairs is referred to as Bloomsbury. Uh, breakfast and lunch is served in there. And um, upstairs is the terrace. Um, so we actually sit, this is our table where we have enjoyed many dinners. And um, it's really quite, I think we do prefer the, um, the terrace, which is open for dinner as is the uh, Bloomsbury. Currently, it's only still traditional first and second seating, but there are plans to have um, any time dining introduced. Um, but because of COVID, it hasn't been implemented yet. So traditionally, um, we're still sticking to the first and second seating for dinner. So you've got 6.15, I think it is, for first, and which is actually probably more popular on this cruise, and 8.30 uh, for second seating. On four more nights, um, of which there are three on this particular cruise, um, the sort of string um, trio will sit there and play, and it's really lovely. And um, so it's we really quite enjoy this restaurant, um, and it's a la carte for breakfast and lunch. Uh, there's no buffet in this um, restaurant, and what I do quite like is the sort of I guess the Art Deco feel to it, and I think this. If you've been on um, Balmoral, it might feel a bit familiar to you because I think it kind of reminds me of the um, some of the interior of um, the main restaurant on um, Balmoral, where they've got sort of stained glass sort of style. So you can find the uh, main restaurant um, on the aft of the ship. As I say, it is two um, tiers. So the terrace is um, on deck five aft and um, the Bloomsbury Deck 4. With the Bloomsbury, um, you do have to be aware that it's only ex accessible um, on the aft staircase. Uh, so whereas with um, the terrace, you can just walk all the way from forward on Deck 5 through to the restaurant. With um, the, the Bloomsbury, you do have to use the aft staircase for access. Um, so, I mean, it took a couple of days for me to get my head around it, but eventually, I've got it all sorted now, but just so you're forewarned, you know, to head to the aft staircase for breakfast or lunch or even dinner at um, the Bloomsbury. So here I am now on deck eight, another deck um, that is just for um, proper carriers only, so there's no accommodation on this deck. The last accommodation deck is the deck below, deck seven. And there's also the Poolside Cafe, which is one of my favorite places to eat. It's open 10 to 7 um, and the best thing is is that if you are late for breakfast, which I usually am because um, apparently the breakfast times in um, both the Bloomsbury and also the View Cafe, which is the Duffo restaurant board, seem to be finishing about 9.30. Um, and however, like I say, the Hillside Cafe opens at about 10 and then it starts with um, some really lovely um, late risers meals. Um, I'm particularly fond of the poached eggs for avocado and the eggs benedict and the peach sundae. Um, and I tend to go here almost every morning for my breakfast, to be honest. So here also on deck eight is uh, the view, uh, which is the buffet restaurant, um, open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and also the afternoon tea, uh, where you get you know, your scones, your uh, sandwiches, some really delicious looking um, desserts that I am using all my willpower to not have today because we are going to have some taste later and I'm going to need my appetite for that. Um, so. Obviously now with COVID, um, it's a little bit different, so you don't just help yourself. Um, the chef at various stations will, you know, you say, oh, could I have, um, I don't know, whatever is available, you know, the penne pasta. And actually, the, um, for example, mentioned pasta station, 
they cook it fresh for you, which is lovely. So I'm going to be an egg station at breakfast. Um, so it's definitely nice. And also, coming yet been, um, but this is also where they have like you know the midnight buffet, um, so to speak. I don't really call it that anymore. But um, tomorrow, I think, will be our last formal night, the third of three. And I'm hoping that's when they do the special buffet, but we'll see. Here we are, um, deck eight again. And this here, just before you get to the view uh, restaurant, which is the um, buffet, is actually a little bit sectioned off. And at night it becomes Vasco, which is the um, Goan um, inspired cuisine on board. And it is fabulous. Um, so you currently, you don't have to charge, you just have to make a reservation. So with Vasco, there is just the one menu, um, but it's fabulous. The starters are incredible and they also uh, give you all these little, um, different types of Indian bread lunch parties, some different Martin breads, all these gorgeous dips. So good. No wonder it's the captain's favourite restaurant. <laughs> So I'm outside Colours and Tastes, one of the new speciality restaurants on board Valete and Borealis. Currently um, you can enjoy dining in here for just £5 per person, so incredibly good value, but it won't stay that low forever. Um, this is a fabulous um, restaurant, we've eaten in it already once, going in again tonight. Um, currently we have two menus available, but I believe that's off the next cruise so I'll be introducing two more. So they sort of... Um, change the, um, you know, switch the menus throughout the, um, each itinerary um, and they'll be obviously growing more, um, growing more, serving more um, menus. Um, so it's Asian fusion and it's absolutely delicious. Uh, what we like to do is have all the starters uh, because it's pretty much impossible to choose to be honest. So we have little bits we share and it's just stunning, really lovely um, and a fantastic concept. And I love the um, I love the walkway up from the midship staircase to um, to the restaurant, and I love the inside of the restaurant as well. I think it's really beautifully um, decorated, and the um, the crew who um, work in this um, particular restaurant are just so lovely. I mean, to be fair, they always are. So um, wherever you meet, wherever you go on board. Although you can enjoy complimentary afternoon tea daily in the View Buffet restaurant, on select sea days you can really treat yourself to an indulgent traditional afternoon tea experience, complete with white glove service. But also offering this experience in the observatory lounge on board all their fleet, which can be found on deck nine forward on board Valete. While you enjoy premium teas by Taylor's Harrogate, served in porcelain teapots, and elegant finger sandwiches, pastries and warm scones, serves on the traditional tiered stands. You could also enjoy the views and musical accompaniment. I love this experience because it feels so decadent and relaxing and at only 9 95 it's excellent value for money and I think it would certainly rival some of the afternoon teas held at places on land like the Ritz or Savoy.